What is going on everybody? It is me clear and I have my first custom Lego minifigure showcase video that has been for more than two minifigures and for this video I have 13 minifigures for Captain America 3 Civil War which is launching here in the US tonight Not exactly at midnight, but you know It's coming out tonight. It's May 5th. We've all been super excited for the last Captain America Chris Evans movie and for this phenomenal showcase I have made Captain America, Bucky Barnes, Falcon, Scarlet Witch, Ant-Man, Micro Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Iron Man, War Machine, Vision, Black Panther, Black Widow, and Spider-Man. So yeah guys, I also have a side showcase coming out uh, which will have Crossbones, General Ross, and a possible Agent 13. But guys, I just wanted to have Team Cap and Team Iron Man in this video. This took so long to put together, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go guys, kicking this off with Steve Rogers, Captain America as being portrayed by Chris Evans, who has portrayed him for the last five movies that he has starred Captain America in, in this Guys, this is one of my favorite minifigures I've made this year and in this video for sure. This minifigure turned out just everything I needed him to be to, to turn out for you guys. Now, there, are, you know, none of these minifigures are perfect. I want to get that out of the way right now. None of these figures are perfect, guys. I'm still new to into this community, but I'm thinking I did a really good job, and I think I did a pretty good. Not thinking. All right, but let's get it out of the way his shield uh that turned out really nice uh i even gave it the um actually he's holding it upside down um he has the, it has the uh three can we focus please uh the three scratch marks from um black panther now i think i should have done only two because you know lego hands but lego hands you know whatever okay uh but other than that you know it's all weathered and everything um but you can just see uh, there are even a, there's a little pouch on the side of his leg also, which is a really awesome detail. I'm glad I was, th uh, for some reason, I couldn't get that pouch to get, look right for my life, and I'm not even sure why. We have the D, I did not put the little Captain America, the, uh, or the Avengers A on his shoulder, and, or, you know, close to his shoulder anyway, just because it, he gets those taken off some point at the mo in the, during the movie, so I just wasn't gonna do that, so... I have the everything on this minifigure is accurate to his appearance now the reason I didn't go with a cowl first of all I just I wanted to make a Captain America head really badly oh, I'm sorry um but I, I I really wanted to make one and I I didn't I only have one flash cowl in the other ones on eBay are all in Bricklink are all super expensive so I mean well it's a bit inaccurate I like him unmasked for some reason I just like the look of it a bit better than I even do with a flash cowl and yeah so there is where his shield hooks up you know but anyways guys other than that he has a standard boots and that's it for Captain America we've got Bucky Barnes formerly known as the Winter Soldier as being betrayed by Sebastian Stan for the second time and oh my at least I think it's the second time because was this the same actor from the first Captain America movie? I don't even know. But oh man, guys, I did not stick with that standard uniform he had in the last one with all the leather pouches and everything. No, I went with the Civil War look for Bucky here in his arm. Okay, now let me just first say this arm from what I could gather from the reference pictures. We have not we have yet to see the movie. I'm pretty sure this is what I saw was some of the metal was coming through. He had a rip on his sleeve, but I'm not exactly sure if that's accurate. But from what I know, it is. All right, next. And then we have his signature arm. It's not a chrome uh, spray paint or anything. It's just a standard, you know, uh, pearl white paint, but that's all right. And then his head, it's, it's, a, it's a more of a gray colored beard than it is like the brown and I think that's more accurate and he's got the Russian star he needs to get that off um, there's not a whole lot on the back you can see the back continues all the way around from the front side and then he's got you know pouches zip zippers in then just the Death Star Trooper legs um, which I painted in myself because I don't ha actually have a pair so yeah that is the Winter Soldier 
our Sam Wilson Falcon as portrayed by Anthony Mackie for the second time. Oh man, this looks awesome. We got a preview from Ant-Man of this suit and we're here and he's going to wear it for an entire film. Oh my gosh, guys, here we go. All right, first off, you'll notice no wings. Now, why did I end up having to make that decision? First of all, all I have for wings are from the actual official Falcon minifigure from the uh, comic set, which, you know, doesn't even look like the movie version at all. And so I couldn't really use them, and I, I it wasn't going to work sculpting on because all this detailing I have on the back. So I may eventually get that set in or get the wings somehow when the price goes down on eBay. Oh, my gosh, there's a hair there. All right. Um, but, yeah, it looks like a spider on the back of him, but that's how the suit looks. So everything on the back, I think, turned out awesome, and it's completely accurate, and it just looks so clean. The arms look really nice. You know, you got his uh, skin showing through there on the sides. Um, he's got his, um, actually that turned out really well, that, that, um, arm there, or both arms, the, the, like, the, the, the shoulder things, which some people actually, I saw sculpted on, um, but I didn't go that direction, and he has black, just standard black hands, but the front of the torso is really where all this is going on, and I really think that, that defies all my other, tor well, it's, it, it, that, sh I think this is one of the first main figures I made. This could, this just kind of showed me, I, I started on the torso, this showed me, I think I have a, like, I deserve to be in this community, like, okay, I'm trying to put my word into words here, because that showed me that I'm actually, I can customize, that showed me, if I were to see that, I would say that's a good torso, and I actually really do think that's a great torso, not just an okay torso, like I normally made before these, and I think these Civil War figures really helped me just... I don't know, there's just something about them that, I don't know. These were really awesome to make, and I think they really helped me learn how to do things. And then the head is all custom painted, um, and I think that turned out really nice. Red, uh, the same matching red as the uh, white and stripes, in the stri the white and uh, red stripes there. Uh, and then his legs turned out really awesome, but this minifigure is probably the most accurate. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump onto our next minifigure. Oh, and he does have the standard Lego here. Alright, guys, Wanda Maximoff. Scarlet Witch, as portrayed by Elizabeth Olsen in Civil War. This was one of my favorite minifigures. Uh, I really like how the expression on the face looks. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, the head, that just really, for me, is what set this minifigure as looking like the Scarlet Witch, you know, from, you know, I could pop this on an Age of Ultron Scarlet Witch. Either one would have worked, and that's why I think this minifigure turned out really awesome. Unfortunately, there isn't really anything on the arms, so I just left them blank. Uh, but the, the, the legs. This was a pair of Darth Vader legs that I ordered for a Darth Vader minifigure, but I'm like, wait a minute. She has, like, that trench coat thing. I could get my design pattern from those. And so I just continued it on all three, three sides that it needed to be on. And it looked really, and it looks, it looks really awesome. Uh, the, the, now let me show you everything that we have here on the, um, if I can get the hair. Yep, there we go. The hair off that's the entire torso and i think it looks really awesome i got the necklace on there everything accurate and then this is the you know the head that i use so and then we have the back which doesn't have a whole lot on there either but yeah this hair piece which was originally red and i got it off ebay and it wasn't the cheapest hair piece so i ended up painting the entire thing and it got like and i was trying to use a mod podge to seal it which i don't do all the time anymore like i did on the like on this many on a couple of these minifigures but i'm um, like it bubbled in some of the crevices, so I had to tear every little piece of paint off and repaint it, and that was just a pain. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and jump on in into the next minifigure. Scott Lang Ant-Man, other portrayed by Paul Rudd. This is awesome, guys. We finally get to see Ant-Man outside of his own movie, and I cannot wait. All right, so first off, guys, the helmet is a Senate Commando clone helmet or whatever, you know, that I sculpted. I shaved off the fin and I uh, sculpted on it, onto it. So that would be the centerpiece in both of these ears. Now, the one thing about these ears is they're not very super symmetrical. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to look right, but I, it's, it's, it looks good for how it is. It for what it is, it looks good. So that's the helmet. 
on the back the back painting I almost said printing on there is all my design I I, I found this like Chinese toy afterwards that had the accurate look of it but this is what I kind of wanted it to be so it, it flows well with the rest of the minifigure um the legs every everything sorry about that um everything about this minifigure is accurate I especially like how the arms just flow with the rest of the minifigure and that's one of my favorite parts uh, the torso turned out really good too. I just think I don't know. There's just uh, th th I don't like it as much as the old one. But you can see I also painted a Scott Lang head here. Um, wow, that Scott Lang head here that doesn't flow well. And then we just steal Hawkeye's hairpiece and we have a nice you know little Scott Lang Paul Rudd Ant Man, whoever you want to call him by, whatever, whoever. Yeah. All right. So let me just pull this off. I'm using one hand for no reason and slip his Ant Man helmet back on. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the micro one. Alright, I am really zoomed in here, but here's the micro right man I made. Obviously, it doesn't compare to the full-on minifigure I just, you guys just saw, but it's, it, I think it's pretty good. Um, obviously there aren't as many, there's not as much detail, it's not as clean, but overall, it, it, sorry, here, let me put it back. Uh, it looks pretty nice, and I really do like how the stripes on the head look, and it just turned out pretty nice, there's nothing on the back. But everything you see on here is accurate to the suit, so it's a nice little quick half hour paint job, whatever, to add to my Civil War minifigures. Clint Barton Hawkeye as portrayed by Jeremy Renner. Here we go, guys. One of my favorite characters from Age of... Probably my favorite character from Age of Ultron, because he got a lot bigger part than he did in the first Avengers, but is back. And he's a bit older this time than he was in either in the other two films. Another piece of hair. My. Get away. Okay. But anyways, guys. Yeah. So I kept Lego's head and hairpiece. And their hands. Um, I, you know, whatever. Um, well, I painted on one of them. But the head and the hair are both from the Age of Ultron Hawkeye. Because they didn't. They wanted to miss out on making a completely awesome suit from a completely awesome movie. And they just wanted to give us some other minifigures instead. But hey, give me a chance. Hey, there's nothing to compare this minifigure to, so you can't really say it's bad. But um, yeah. But I did give him a Brickforge bow and arrow, and I think that's just cool. You know, can't wait to see that whole Ant-Man deal happen. If you have not seen the trailer, I'm about to spoil that Ant-Man jumps off it. So if you're watching this, you have to have either seen the movie or the trailer. Um, but yeah, guys. So. He's just really simple, you know. He's got his little, his little um hand thing. I don't know what it's exactly called. I kind of I forgot. Whatever. His hand protection gear. And then this this arm was a bit more complicated, but I do really like how it turned out. Uh, and the torso turned out pretty good. I like the I got the buckles on there, and then there's just a strap running through. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Team Cap. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. Kicking off Team Iron Man, I have the man himself here, Tony Stark Iron Man, as being portrayed by Robert Downey Jr., probably, like, the most perfect Iron Man we could ever find, but anyways, guys, this figure is just, I don't know, this is one of my favorite figures in the showcase video, I mean, oh, this is just, it's such a clean paint job, and now, let me just first address the armor, there is no armor on this minifigure, sorry, shaking the base. There is no additional armor. Now, the thing about that, guys, is some I will maybe mention in the end. Iron Man, a lot of... I didn't think that his armor was thick enough. Because if you look at Rhodey's in comparison to his... Rhodey's is a lot um, bulkier than Tony's. But, I think he's still, compared to Captain America, is still a lot bulkier. So, maybe I'll give a mask to Captain America and do a V2 of a... Do a V2 of the Captains. So... That's something I'm considering, but probably will happen after we tone down with some craziness. So, uh, the back detailing, uh, I really like how the back turned out with that kind of arrowhead shape lining down there. And then we have all the, you know, the blue lights he has all over his suit. I think is a really awesome thing that we've all been waiting for. And if I move up the, the arms is probably, the arms are probably the favorite, are my favorite part. And you can see there's even more detailing, more lights uh, I, I didn't count them there's probably somewhere like 15 of them and then if we flip up the hud it's just standard tony stark now i didn't really i know a lot of people like to paint the hud but me myself 
I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on it, so I just, um, if we can focus here, this might, uh, I just painted a blue, a blue pat, or a blue, like, screen in there, so that, for those of you, and I did use this angry face, I think this is Iron Man 3 head, I'm not completely sure, because you see, it might have been the Avengers head, but who knows, uh, it might have been then the Age of Ultron head, I really have no idea, but anyways, you can see the mask has the correct detailing, and just everything about this, and, uh, for how, this isn't my favorite suit he's ever sported, but I'm certainly a fan of how I made it, and, uh, unfortunately, I'm not siding on with him on this one. Here we have Colonel James Rhodes in his war machine, Mark III, and, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the actor's name, I know it's Don something, Don, I don't even know, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce his last name, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start off with the minigun, because I did not think it was gonna work out, to put one of these, I'm like, this is, you know, with Falcon not having wings, I'm like, I can't not. Like, it, I wasn't going to allow myself to not. I was going to figure something out, even if I had to take Lego's design and, you know, and take Lego pieces and shave them down and super glue them to the back of this thing. I was going to have a minigun for my War Machine minifigure, even though it looks like he might die, unfortunately. Uh, but that's been in the trailer. I have not yet seen the movie. Um... But all the front side is accurate. Everything on the front is accurate. Uh, he has his uh, Iron Man 3 face. There's no HUD, just because it's, um, it was, it, 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 he doesn't need a, um, it was a Iron Man helmet, so it was a uh, dark red inside. But yeah, the back is all inaccurate, and unfortunately, I don't think it flows well with the rest of the minifigure. There's, uh, inaccurate arms, so not my, not the best minifigure, but for what it is, I think he turned out really sweet. So, there's your, uh, quick look at War Machine. I don't really have a lot to go over. He has an arc reactor. Uh, but other than that, I guess... Oh, one more thing. Oops, sorry. Snapped him off the stand. Uh, oh, by the way, all these figures are posable, so I'm not going to be posing all of them. But anyways, yeah. Let's hop into our next figure. Alright, we have Tichula, Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman, portraying him. T... Chala. Uh, I think that's how you say it, but anyways, guys, I'm really sorry this minifigure is completely inaccurate except for the front of the torso and the head, and that's simply because I couldn't, there's a Black Panther movie coming out, guys, I couldn't do, I couldn't make an accurate one and then make an inaccurate one, make an accurate one now and then make an inaccurate one later, I just was not going to do it, it just wouldn't have been, I, I don't know, there's just, I, I, I couldn't do it, and that's really unfortunate because I really would have loved to actually go at this Black Panther minifigure for a while and just have some fun with it, but I couldn't because there's a Black Panther movie and I wasn't going to remake the same minifigure twice. So, I mean, yeah, I might be better later, but for now, there just isn't a whole lot. I might be better down the road, but still, it would be the same minifigure, so I'll just kind of, you know, show them off to you a little bit. Um, Yeah, there's not a whole lot to go over. You guys can be pretty much just figure out everything for yourself, uh, he's got the necklace, uh, I don't know, there's just a little bit of matte, a matte color, black, matte black, you know, he's got diamonds, the little shoe things, the arms have little spikes on them, and, yeah, it's kind of a disappointment, but, hey, we got the movie, so, I'll be making him better next time, so stay tuned for that. Alright, our last kind of disappointing minifigure, kind of, we have Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson is playing him, so, or her, so, yeah, um, there's a couple, this suit is just super simple, uh, she has the tasers, you can see right there, the little gauntlet taser things, uh, whatever, the bite, uh, she's got, this is all I could really figure out, I sculpted that little, like, pack on the back that we see from when she, uh, is watching the explosion, um, and then we have, you know, just, some basic front detail inside. I painted the face. I really like the face. Uh, and then the hair is the uh, hair we got in the Age of Ultron sets and the Civil War sets. Um, now, apparently that's kind of inaccurate now, but I don't know. I I think this is close, so I'm fine with it. But yeah, there's nothing on the legs. So other than that, yeah, that's it for your uh, Black Widow custom Lego minifigure. Alright, we're done with disappointing minifigures, so let's hop into Vision. Now, Vision is a really awesome minifigure, and I'm really glad I was able to make him, but he's a, a little simple, but I'm 
I love how he turned out. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the cape. It's a custom sculpted cape. Um, it's a little big at the top, but there's just some simple, uh, uh tan, vanilla colored detailings, uh, which it doesn't come off, so that would explain why there's no detailing on the back, so, um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool cape. Uh, the head is all, everything on this minifigure is me, from that tie looking thing, to the black lines, the silver buckle, the gold stripes, and the black lines, and then the boots, so, yeah, he's a little more simple, but I'm really glad I had the chance to make it. I mean, he's got the half, half purple, half green, um, arms there. And I just gave him standard black gloves because I, I couldn't do pink because it would it just scrape off right away. So, that's a little unfortunate. So, uh, but other than that, he really turned out awesome. He's got the, uh, little, um, gem in there, the soul gem up in there. So, uh, we'll see if Thanos takes it from him, but... We're down to our last minifigure for the showcase video, so let's jump into him. Alright guys, I'm at my last minifigure and we have the Peter Parker Spider-Man and Tom Holland is playing him. Oh my guys, this is my favorite minifigure in the showcase and I had to show him last. When we heard news and we saw the, tr the, the second trailer came out guys, I, I watched it. Oh my gosh, was that amazing. And Oh my goodness, guys, I cannot wait. I'm gonna be. Unfortunately, he's on Tony's side from what we've seen, but hopefully he switches over to the Freddy side, you know, Team Cap later on. But, anyways, um, I'm finally, like, killing all these. This is just so amazing. But, alright, so you see the webbing pattern all over this minifigure, okay? You have it on the torso, the arms, the legs, the face. Now, the face, it doesn't have it on all. Or, there's only, like, technically one side, but, you know, I just kept it on the front. I couldn't really figure out how to do it otherwise, unfortunately, but it looks really good from still. It's still an amazing minifigure. I have the black lines that he has, and I just painted his cuffs in um, black, and you can just see the webbing on the torso turned out the best. And unfortunately, he has a... I, I guess I'm a fan of... I, I guess not, unfortunately. I'm sorry, I should have chosen better words. I'm a big fan of this little spider. It's kind of cool, and I really do like it. Uh, unfortunately, here on the back... This gray spider is supposed to be in red, but I really don't care. I wanted it to be in gray uh, because, you know, we have all these bright and bright reds and blues, and you can see all the blue and everything. But, yeah, guys, that is it for your... Uh, oh, by the way, the lenses. This eye is a little squinting a little bit more than the other one. I thought that was kind of a neat addition to my Peter Parker minifigure. And this is my first 100% uh, custom Spider-Man, and hopefully we get that Sinister Six film that uh we've been uh getting trolled about let me move the camera a little bit over but yeah guys without further ado i'm finally wrapping up my civil war showcase all right guys well that is it for my custom lego minifigure showcase video for captain america civil war if you guys enjoyed and are just extremely happy with the uh two months of work that went into these figures please give this video a like and leave a comment which 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 is your favorite minifigure what is your favorite what what side are you on you know just anything you guys want to let me know in the comment section below because uh these figures were definitely not easy and it's my first big showcase um so yeah guys the movie releases tonight i will be doing a thoughts video tomorrow um or maybe even tonight because i'm gonna upload this probably around four ish um but yeah i really hope you guys have enjoyed it I know I probably rated you guys with a couple too many updates about these minifigures. But hey, they all turned out really awesome in my opinion. Next up, we have uh, side figures. We have uh, Crossbones, Sharon Carter, and um, uh, General Ross. All possibilities. Uh, I think Crossbones is the only one I've confirmed so far. But anyways, guys. Uh, after that, we have X-Men Apocalypse. We have a lot of stuff coming out throughout the rest of the year. So, yeah, guys, I will be back with my uh, thoughts video here pretty soon. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.